Welcome back everyone to Small Tuber News. I'm your host, Gator the Legend, and I'm here to get you caught up on all the news and drama involving your favorite small tubers. Our first story of the day comes from rising small tuber, it's Dari J, a small tuber currently sitting over 20,000 subscribers. This is one of those stories that I absolutely hate reporting on due to the impact it has on the small tuber community. It's Dari J recently posted a video entitled I'm Quitting YouTube. See, being a small tuber is no easy task. It's a struggle week in and week out. We grind every day to make the best content we can and to interact with our fans as much as we can. Sometimes, however, it becomes too much. Either we get frustrated at the lack of growth, we get tired of trying to balance our real life and YouTube, or we just no longer have fun making content. No matter the reason, it's heartbreaking. Not just for the fans, but the creator as well. So when I saw this video, my heart broke. I was hesitant to even watch, but I felt like I owed it to It's Dari J as a fellow small tuber. Look at my drip, my drip, my swag. 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 I came from Razorish. Oh, you got me. I I can't believe it. This is just all some kind of gag. But why? Why would you do this? I mean, I was almost in tears. I worked so hard on this fucking channel. I, I, I give it everything I've got. It's all just some kind of joke to you. There are people out here really fucking struggling, you know? I, I, I can't do this anymore, guys. I, I just can't. I, I'm fucking done. I'm fucking done. I, after this, no more small tuber news. I, the heartbreak is just too much. I'm so sorry, guys. I, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and I'm just fucking with you. God, what a bunch of fucking idiots. Why would I quit Small Tuber News? Then who would update you on all the news and drama involving your favorite small tubers? Leave your questions below for an up and coming QA. The next story comes from up and coming small tuber Pusa Studios, a live streaming channel. In just this past week, Pusa Studios hit 1,500 subscribers. Congratulations, Pusa Studios, on such an amazing accomplishment. I started following them just a week or two ago, and I couldn't be happier with my decision. Their chemistry on camera is amazing. They always have great guests and are very welcoming to all. Well done getting to 1,500 subscribers. I hope you the best of luck in getting 1,500 more. Our last story of the day comes from rising small tuber Taryn, currently sitting at over 4,500 subscribers. Taryn has made his presence known on a few media platforms, but not on YouTube. He finally took that final step and made his first YouTube video. I just have something to tell you. Something that I've been hiding for a while. I just need to be myself. And I don't want to lie to you guys. And I want you guys to know exactly who I am and how I feel. So the point is, is that I'm done hiding, I'm done lying, and I have to tell you guys that I'm gay. I'm not gonna lie, videos like this make me so fucking angry, so aggravated. I can feel my blood boiling. It makes me want to lash out and hurt something. It's so fucking hard to stay calm. Why does it have to be so hard for people to just be themselves? Why do people feel so compelled to hate, to judge? Why does it have to take such overwhelming bravery for someone to just be honest about who they are? I was blessed in so many ways. I'm white, I'm a man, I'm straight. I don't need to be brave to say those things. It's so fucking easy for me. I can't even begin to fathom the fear Taryn had to overcome. He goes on to describe all he has been through hiding this for so long. He says that he had to lie to himself, telling himself that he was straight. God damn it, this shit pisses me off. I just don't understand. I can't wrap my head around it. It's like, it's like racism. How can you hate someone for being a different color? It's weird when you really think about it. It's just fucking weird. It makes no fucking sense on any fucking level. Taryn, I know my reaction here might make you think that I hate this video, but that is just not the case. I just wish you never for a day had to feel ashamed about who you are. I have two sons and another one on the way, and if I ever found out that they kept something like this a secret and let it eat them alive, it would break my fucking heart. I just wish people would change. I wish everyone would just love everyone, accept each other for who we are. To me, you're an inspiration. I've never had to show that kind of bravery in my entire life. Don't forget to stay tuned till the end for today's featured small tuber music creator. Today's music creator was brought to me by the one and only Yolo Caboose. YKB introduced me to up and coming small tuber King Brendan and his song Heart and Half. 
And if you want a story to be featured on SmallTuber News, hit me up, either in the comments below on Twitter at GatorTheLegend or at SmallTuber News, or send me an email to GatorTheLegend at Yahoo.com, and you just may be mentioned on SmallTuber News. And if you never want to miss an episode, make sure to subscribe with notifications on, because if you don't ring the bell, it's like you're not even subscribed at all. Thank you, my Gator Knights, so much for joining me today, and until next time, I've been Gator the Legend, and this has been SmallTuber News. Maybe I'm possessive, but really I'm just upset. This is why I'm so aggressive, saying that I need to rest. Dealing with depression, waking up, I'm such a mess. Here to learn a lesson, why do you think of me less? Yeah. I'm trying to be the best that I could be. I'm trying to live in a world with a little bit of peace. I'm trying to make this up into reality, but I'm feeling like I'm living in a fantasy. I'm feeling like my music would never come true. Ever doesn't have